babies what's up my darling mvps how are you all doing welcome back to sale with me Mimi, mimi where you get a gist i see they do waiting i see they hot of course you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel if it snows you do what you lose are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you sitting on a fat long thing? Kindly pause right there, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. So, yeah, guys, I know you'll be wondering, uh, who is this beautiful damsel up on your screen? Anyways, it is no other than Nala, the yes, Nali. Of Big Brother and Sanzi that Mpo emerged the winner. Nali was actually the girl that was living the baby girl lifestyle, you know, doing her thinking, missing her boyfriend in the house because she felt left alone <laughs> when everyone was involved in one ship or the other. Anyways, the reason why I'm posting her picture here is not because of um that's right now it's because today is her special day. Today is her born day. Happy birthday to you, Nali. May the good Lord bless your new age and may god grant all that your heart positively desire so guys um of course i had to start it with nali's birthday because it is their season yes it is in zanzi and then they are the senior right now yes because it was their season before this present one so guys um the clock is ticking tick tock tick talk are you ready like are you really ready anyways we all know when a new show is about to start like this we have different kind of feelings you know fan bases as in spewing different kind of things we tend to see different kind of charts and all of that we are going to see them here on this particular video okay um people are actually um dropping their expectation what they do not want to see you know mentioning their faves and all of that but let's see how this is going um coming from um meanwhile on this particular video before i continue there is something that i really do not like but i will be discussing that at the end of this video okay so you have to watch at the very end so you would not miss any of the gist at all all right coming from big brother and zanzi um page the anticipation is building with only five hours left until we dive into a drama twist and excitement of BB in Zanzi season 4. See Amosha on now. For more, click on the link. Meanwhile, I have forgotten what did they even say is the meaning of Siamosha again. Please, I really want to know. Meanwhile, guys, I can't wait. Believe you me, I can't wait. But like I said, there are lots of people complaining. In fact, the complaint is just too much right now. Because I was thinking, um, it's people from other countries that is meant to be complaining right now. But it may seem as though some persons in South Africa too are complaining because of um they are not giving the channel access to have the channel all right coming from there i said okay somebody said can't wait to hear biggie's voice this evening and then big brother and zanzi page replied and said we can't wait either so guys what is that thing that you cannot wait to hear so i'm having mixed feelings. in fact this particular um season that is about to air is coming with mixed feelings some are having this oh i really love it some are like i beg i beg so it's just a mixed feeling thingy so these are some of the complaints on um the big being zanzi page as you can see this person said open 198 for everyone where can we watch in ghana which station please let me sleep for the last time because after 6 p.m tonight until april we won't have any sleep because everywhere sees Mosha. now guys i don't know are you a south african and you're watching this video right now what problem do you guys have over there regarding this is it that you cannot have access to it i was thinking it's from other countries and not just um people in south africa you know can't wait yo i can't I can't believe ukaba i won't watch the show because of whatever, whatever, whatever i don't know what that means okay i think the problem right here is not um is not be, they said you have to subscribe but you guys should know one thing i just discovered they said you have to subscribe to hire this thing for you to get to view it but believe you me once the show starts they want you guys to subscribe to hire um this thing package but remember once the show has started a bit they will actually make it available for everyone if you can remember vividly i think they did it during the bb titan no matter in post time they actually made it available to hire subscri um, subscribers of the um, package. Later, they reduced it. So you guys shouldn't worry. This show is going to be an interesting one. All right, guys. I'm coming from Oracle. 
One thing I love about BB in Zanzi is that it is an unpredictable show. Unlike BB in Niger that you can pick the winner from the launch day. Such unpredictability feels feels show watchers with nail biting intrigues and makes for a super great show. We are in for Siyomasha treats already. Now, guys, you accept this thing from um, Oracle. I already said it on my previous video. I'm like, you would just be watching. You would, ju you would just keep guessing. You would think this person would win. Like, during the during post season, I was thinking um this guy would win Temba. Mm, I was thinking Temba would win while I was rooting for Mpo, actually. But I was thinking um, Temba would win. Not until Temba now came thought i never saw gashon coming gashon was the first runner up meaning if mpo hadn't win gashon would have won all right um coming from sober pan africa once they start talking about bb titan housemates to try and score votes we vote them out so i told you guys fans are actually saying what they do not want to see on this particular season that they have seen enough in other season that once any housemates start talking about <laughs> bb titan housemates to try and score votes that they are not gonna vote the person just for example you start talking about cozy oh that cozy she's nice she's sweet because you know cozy has huge fan base <laughs> daddy are gonna remove you <laughs> all right and then somebody said melanie said imagine shipping criminals again as so they sana guys choose wisely now this is the one i can't even take she passed she passed. Will you guys allow me to just leave me breathe at, th at least this one? So I know it's impossible because she passed. Without she passed, how would the show be interesting, anyways? But we are all in for it. All right, coming from Zimba Chips. Since tomorrow, with the housemate trying to win our hearts, oh, my mother had. <laughs> you guys are not serious you guys are not serious so you're trying to tell us that you guys are tired of pt or anything that has to do with pity strategy okay we are taking notes you're taking notes because at the end we'll see who would win this season and see the strategy the person used as bbm is starting grown women with husband and children stop calling a housemate younger than you mother or father Please, it is cringy because how? Have you guys heard more that this uh, cool series is basically as though this series is targeted to you guys because you guys can call Kosi mother for Africa. Coming from Judith, me waiting for new baby in Zanzi housemate tomorrow, especially those with beautiful faces and big nyash will pick BB in Zanzi over BB Titans a million times. I know some set of people are waiting for them fine face with fine shape, but you know South Africans can carry fine shape for Africa now. Meanwhile, talking about choosing BB in Zanzi, or more, I choose BB Titan a million times over in Zanzi, I beg. I'm not going to lie. All right, coming from Crochet. You all can say whatever, but BBT is goated. They gave us a show. There were real gamers in the house. They all gave us a show. And the winner deserved to win. Wishing them all the best. True, true, true. That's one thing I said. You see, I choose BB Titan over Mzanzi times 100 times. I'm not going to lie. Not because of anything. The mixture of cultures, you know, being together and everything. I love it like that. And then it was made available. Not this one that some people would be like, oh, some countries are not having... They cannot watch it through their TV. They have to go to an extra mile or something to make sure they see the show. You know, BB Titan was available for everyone. So that is one of the reasons me I choose Titan over that one. Coming from Hills, by this time next week, BBM fans would have changed names from CC Heart, Mercy Waste, and Ile Baye Beats to Magoma Defender. Wahala! <laughs> It is the Magoma for me, Tondi my boss top and Nagladi my ultimate faith. I'm telling you, that's what we're gonna be seeing. And I can't forget from hearing um some West South African West that will be calling us off from now. There will never be anyone like Kosi Twala in the history of any Big Brother franchise. Kosi, you will always be famous. I said what I said. Now go argue with your ancestors. So in all this, I know I understand the mixed feelings on oh we are going to be paying attention to certain people or oh, your face will not get the kind of attention you need so people are insisting on their favor and then Kosi forever said a survey would prove that those with empathy may end up with same faves because what the f so guys yeah it may seem as you know i asked yesterday how do you pick your winner now some persons are giving that they are waiting for those housemates that people will treat okay let's read this chat together I'll start from the down. I hope I don't attach to anyone like I did to Kosi and Umpo. Those ones gave us too much headache and heartaches. 
current neck okay whatever yo can't wait to see the characters we'll get this time i know i'll be fighting for whoever is hated by most of the housemates why are we the same because that's what made me love cozy even more now you see so that means what made some people love cozy most people love cozy was because most of the housemates were using her as the topic you know like she was the one alone it is giving the housemate that will be alone this season would have the most base because guys i am asking again on what grounds do you choose your fave? I really want to know because what my eyes are seeing right now. And now we have the set of people like Blessing Watati who said, just to put it out there, even if we stand the same person and you throw Mo, you better not come under my tweet. I will call your ass out for real. You know what this person is trying to talk about is that even if like you know this thing is a new season and now you guys are going to be standing new housemates, you know. Now you would have a co rain and maybe a sunrise are together in the same fan base this time around because they might get you know get up like in the same persons you might get a blue diamond and the cozy rain together in the same fan base because of they are standing same house made this season remember it is a new season you know and it will be a clash of various fan base being in the same fan base this is one thing we tend to fight all over and over each new season because you would see people from various fan base who has been coming for each other you know you'll find them in the same fan base now blessing watati is saying if you had called Tati out, you know, in one way or the other, that if you guys are in the same fan base this season and she tends to realize that you guys are playing all cool because you guys are actually vouching and fighting for one fan base that she's still going to call you out because Tati is forever good said okay <laughs> this is actually getting interesting now here is the last one for this video and this is the one i said i do not like and it's so painful it's coming from oracle yeah you know one thing i hate is this kind of comparison now let's read this from oracle i do like lawrence malaka as the host of bibi nzanzi he can be dramatic or serious and doesn't seem to ask the sort of questions that puts housemates on the spot like Ebuka does on Bibi Niger. He is just cool. Can't wait for the Shiamosha season starting this evening. Now, it is a comparison on Ebuka and Lawrence for me. Let me read this. He has his own style and Ebuka has his, but I like Ebuka more than him. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to lie here. You will not come here and now start comparing Lawrence to Ebuka. It is not done. This whole thing, we should just leave it separately for Ebuka. The comparison itself is not needed. I, I saw the kind of um, backlash um, Lawrence got during the Titan season. They are like, oh, he's not doing like Ebuka. They were calling out on that guy so big. And now you putting his name out there again. It's like you're just giving room for people to call out on Lawrence. Today that he's going to appear as the host of BB in Zanzi season. Lawrence has his own thing, but you can't compare him. Ebuka is big on this hosting game. You can't compare him to uh, Lawrence. So you should stop doing this comparison of a thing. Okay, saying that question Ebuka asks is one of the reasons why most people, including me, likes him. You know, so please, um, people should stop all this kind of narrative, I beg. Anyways, guys, tell me what is your expectation for the season as we await the Siyamosha season. For now, I'll be dropping my voice to see you guys pretty soon. Bye for now, guys.